You know what I'm going to do right now? I've yet to actually look to see if my pick, which was the Pittsburgh Steelers, won last night. So, depending on who won, I'll tell you if I have if it's my low or my high. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. Okay, looking up right now. Let's see. Mm-hmm. And... Yes! Yay! I got my pick right. So, my high is the fact that my pick was right yesterday. And my low is that I don't really have a low. <laughs> no, that's not entirely true. I, I shouldn't just... I shouldn't leave it that simple. Even though, as true as it could probably be, I really shouldn't leave it that simple. Um... No, I guess my low is the fact that, you know, I'm... It's only been one day since Rita's closed, and I missed it a lot. And I do miss it a lot. I do. I mean, I think just for the sake of, you know, curiosity, I did count how many days Rita's is going to be closed until it's potentially open again. But, you know, what? I'll look again just to make sure because I literally just lost the number. Hold on. Um, uh, calendar... Actually, hold on. Do I have a calendar app? Oh, I do. Cool. All right. All right. So, yesterday, so yesterday was the first day. And let's see. From the 8th to the 30th, that would be, I mean, it should be like 23 days, right? So, throughout December, because when we close then, would be, 54, which is 31 days in December. Um, in January, it's another 31 days. So it would be 85. And February is when things get weird. Because, yes, it's not a leap year. So it's only going to be 28 days. But... I don't know when Rita's will specifically open. It could be the final Friday in February, which would be the 25th. Or it could be the first Friday in March, which would be March 4th. So we're at 85 days right now. So 85 plus 25 equals 110. But if it's the 4th, it's going to be 117. Okay, so one down and actually we're not even, I mean, technically it's only been one day, but like one-tenth of a day would be like versus 1.17. One point, one, yeah, 1.17% 1. 1. of a day. I don't really know where now I'm just rambling on. So my math is the fa so my low is the fact I miss readers, and my act of kindness was I actually had helped um, some people with some things yesterday. Nothing major, just uh, holding the door for people. Not really anything spectacular, but sometimes just a sm sometimes a small even a small act of kindness is still an act of kindness. Okay. Even if, like, that's the only thing you wind up doing, you know? But, um, anyway, good morning and happy Tuesday, everyone. I guess I could really talk about how I know who this week's Hot Ones guest is, and that is Jeremy Renner. That's right. We have another Avenger in the house. Sweet. Actually, um, Jeremy Renner is an overplaying Hawkeye in the MCU, but it's, but it's not the only role he's ever done. I mean, I think, you know, I think the first time I legit ever saw him in a movie was The Town. It was like the first like really big movie that Ben Affleck directed himself. And he was really good in it. Like, I think if I recall correctly, Jeremy Renner was nominated for an Oscar for that performance. So... Yeah, he was really good in it. And speaking of movies that was that had Oscar nominations, he was also in American Hustle, which 
as of late, I've dubbed that as part of a tie for the best movie I saw in 2013. The other movie was Dallas Buyers Club, by the way. And he was really great in that, too. Although, he didn't get nominated for an Oscar, but then there were so many great performances in American Hustle that, seriously, like, all four, like, all four categories for actors. Like, best actor, best supporting actor, best actress, best supporting actress, all came from American Hustle. Nominated, that is. None of them won, but they were all nominated. Like, Christian Bale for best actor, um, Amy Adams for best actress, Bradley Cooper for best supporting actor, and Jennifer Lawrence, of course, for best supporting actress. And I'll never forget, because I actually I really haven't watched it so much anymore, but there was a time I would really watch like all the midnight screenings from the cinema snob. And I'll never forget when they talked about American Hustle. And Brad Jones, a.k.a. the cinema snob, said, if these weren't already established actors, this would have been a career-making film because the performances were that good. But... With that said, let's talk about the Jeremy Renner. Yes, he is Hawkeye. And what can I say? It's Jeremy Renner. I really don't know much about him other than, you know, he's Hawkeye. But it should still be really cool to watch. I mean, by my count, this should be the third legit Avenger we've seen on Hot Ones. Because Elizabeth Olsen, who was Scarlet Witch... We've had Anthony Mackie, who was um, the Falcon. So, yeah, we have, um, we have Jimmy Renner who's Hawkeye. I think they're going to wait. A, oh, right, and Black Widow, who's Scar, who was Scar Joe. Holy cow. I can't believe I forgot Scar Joe. Well, to be fair, I think Scar, you know, I, how can I forget? Scar Joe Hanson was like the first Avenger to be on Hot Ones, I think. To my knowledge, anyway. But I think they're going to try and save, like, the big four. You know, uh, huh. Mark Ruffalo, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, and Robert Downey Jr. for, you know, later. Which, seriously, take all the time you need, man. Although, I think, seriously, sometimes I wonder when, sh when Hot Ones will legit ever you know, quote-unquote, jump the shark. Because at first glance... Yeah, sorry, I have allergies and stuffy nose and stuff, sorry. And my voice is still kind of shot a little bit. <coughs> there we go. Anyway, I would think that... Hot Ones would have legit jumped the shark when... They had finally gotten Gordon Ramsay to be on the show. Because I remember that there was a time where fans were just, like, hounding them to get Gordon Ramsay. And when they did, I'm like, oh, no. I really hope they don't jump the shark for this. Because, I mean, listen, there's, like, hundreds and possibly even thousands of celebrities out there. Some of them aren't even legit celebrities. Some of them are just like YouTubers and such. In fact, by all accounts, I could be on Hot Ones at one point, perhaps. Although, if you're ever considering that, um, Sean Evans, holla at your boy. Anyway, um, yeah, some white guy who just said holla at your boy. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Hot Ones is going to be around for a very, very long time. Although... Sean Evans has legit said when the series will end because the final episode will be Chris Schoenberger, a.k.a. the legit creator of Hot Ones. So, yeah, you have some ideas to when Hot Ones will end. Which begs the question, at what point could it end? Like, when could they have that final episode? Well... Logic would dictate that they would have it when Chris Schoenberger is all completely burned out and says, enough, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, let me handle the wings of death and that'll end the series. That would be 
when. That'd be, but that really doesn't give you a time frame. That really just says, you know, because that's either going to happen or it's not. I would think after a gigantic milestone, perhaps, like we're at season 16 right now, it's sort of within the realm of possibility that by the end of 2022, we'll have either finished season 19 or about to start season 20. So there's that. You know, so around maybe season 20, that would be... That'd be a nice, because they have three, maybe four seasons a year, roughly. So they could fit season 20 and 2022. Wow, I just said, I said 20 a lot right there. Huh. I guess it's going to boil down to because here's the thing. Yes, Chris Schoenberger is the creator of Hot Ones. And obviously, as he is the creator, you know, what he says goes. But Sean Evans has stated that Hot Ones has been run by a team of like seven people. I forget if that's including himself, of course. So I think all seven people would have to come into agreement. Like, listen, we've been doing this for, you know, X number of seasons, for X number of years. We've been through a lot together, including a pandemic. Do you want to wrap up here or keep going? You know, because here's the thing. Some people legit want to move on with whatever they have going on with their lives. Not that they dislike it anymore, not at all. In fact... Usually, their love for what they do is stronger than ever when they decide, well, sometimes, I shouldn't say usually, sometimes, like, their love for what they do is, you know, perhaps stronger than ever. But I think they would still want something, you know, different. So that's why I just brought up that if Hot Ones ever did end, all seven people responsible for making the show... You know, you have the creator, director, camera people, you know, stuff like that. Like, they would have to be all in agreement to do it. Because I don't think that one person, even if it is Chris Schoenberger himself, is going to have, like, I mean, he'll probably have the final say, but he won't have the complete say. He'll just probably, worst case scenario, he probably doesn't want to do it anymore. So he brings up the idea, but the rest of the Hot Ones crew are like, no, we love doing this. Please stay. We need you, El Capitan, you know? Something like that. Although, now that I think about it, well, <laughs> I just, I mean, listen, I'm never going to stop making videos, you know? Of the hectic things that go on with my life and everything, this really is a form of, you know, therapy, kind of. Not that I always thought so, but, you know, I've been making videos for, as of right now, 1,409 days. Having a video every day is about as guaranteed as, you know, the sun rising and setting at this point. And I really don't show any signs of stopping. So let's say that all the things I've been watching and talking about end. You know, shows like, you know, Kid Cosmic and Sentai World and even Inside Job Reach their ends. Hot Ones has their, as its inevitable conclusion. Even One Piece finally ends. I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to talk about stuff. I mean... I just gave you, like, the tip of the iceberg in terms of the things I watch. I mean, yeah, Amphibia is poised to end probably in 2022. I'm still going to be around to talk about it. Especially when I've been thinking about it. And you guys all well know I have the S tiers of, you know, great franchise finales. You know, 
um, the Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2, and um, Avengers Endgame. Full disclosure, Amphibia is really looking like it could be chest here. I mean, Matt Brawley has to pull off a miracle for it to reach S tier. No doubt about it. But it's not within the realm, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. Because the way I see it, you know, both Reunion and True Colors made for fantastic season finales. If they were if they were on different shows, while Reunion and True Colors would be pretty sad cliffhangers, they would make for great series finales. So, if Matt Brawley can make it three for three, I'll give it S tier. But, we have to wait for that when we get to there. Like, favorite, chat, the subscribe button, follow me, social subscribe, our Asian YouTube. I'm very home in this video for all of you guys watching Joe for today. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Remember, because I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to be here to lend you. So, I'll be back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.